welcome to a new series. This week I have now christened Hair Week. How exciting is that? A week all about hair. I have a couple of other videos in the works but if there's anything else you fancy seeing in relation to hair let me know. You can either leave me a comment down below or tweet me as well. This video, like the name would suggest, is a hair care routine so I hope you enjoy it. The first thing I have to bring to your attention is this Philip Kingsley Elasticizer Extreme. Basically about two summers ago I completely damaged my hair. Every single day I was like washing it, going in the sea and then going in the sun and then straightening it and blow drying it and curling it and whatever else at night. And when I came back to London my hair literally like resembled straw like I would do this and it would all just like break off. It was horrible so I was on the hunt for something that would help bring it back to life and someone recommended this to me and I haven't looked back since. It's basically like a thick cream 20 minute mask that you pop on wet hair. So for the first six months I think it was, once a week I'd pop this on wet hair, kind of put my hair in a plait and actually sleep with it overnight and then wash it out in the morning. You definitely notice the difference the first time you use it, like your hair is much smoother and less kind of harsh and crispy but over six months is where I really really saw a difference. This totally brought my hair back to life. I don't think my hair would have even like survived that horrible period if it wasn't for this. That sounds so dramatic, but this just completely helped. I think bringing my hair back to the way it is now was all down to this. I think this summer will be like three years since I completely damaged my hair, so that brings me to a three year love affair with the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer and it's still going strong. I literally, I can't thank this mask enough. It completely saves my hair and tries to like reverse all the damage I do as much as possible. <laughs> Another treatment I love is the Ojon Rare Blend Deep Conditioner. This is kind of like a two-faced thing and it has like a little line here and then it comes out looking rather like a cream egg. Oh, this just smells incredible. It smells really sweet but like a nice sweet and a kind of sweet that makes you hungry or something. I really like their, um, their Rare Blend range and if you're ever passing an Ojon counter, definitely give it a whiff because it smells incredible. If my hair's a bit dry and in need of a cut and the ends are just getting a bit crispy, I kind of pop a dollop of this on. My hair completely soaks it up and especially when I blow dry my hair afterwards, it's just so much more manageable because it's so soft and silky. This is actually a blend of seven oils and it's supposed to really intensely hydrate the hair and I find it does that really simply in like 20 minutes. On to washing and there was another range from Philip Kingsley that really helped my hair when it was in terrible condition and that was the Philip Kingsley Moisture Balancing range. This is basically like a shampoo that helps add moisture into your hair without making it feel really oily or greasy or anything and it actually is quite clarifying so I don't well, really so feel the need to use a clarifying shampoo when I use this. The conditioner that goes with this is really nice, I like it, can't really say anything bad about it but my favourite conditioner is the Chlorine conditioner with mango butter and I was kind of drawn to this in France a couple of years ago just because it said the word balm and I was like ooh, a conditioner balm, I'm quite intrigued and I think this is like my third or fourth bottle of the stuff. I've been repurchasing it since. This is just the perfect quick fix conditioner, especially as my hair gets quite tangly. This really helps detangle my locks. And especially if I'm after like a really quick three minute in shower mask, this is what I pop on my hair. I do tend to keep this away from my roots though because it does tend to make them a bit oily so I kind of stick to ears downwards. Another little shampoo and conditioner that I wanted to give a mention to were the Bumble and Bumble Surf Foam Wash Shampoo and Cream Rinse Conditioner. These are just like the perfect summer pair, especially if you're after kind of beachy babe hair. They give like instant textured hair in kind of first day wash which is exactly what I'm after but they are a bit drying for everyday use so I tend to kind of mix it up whenever I fancy a bit of tousled waves. There are three things I like to do after I wash my hair and that is protect, detangle and hydrate and for the protecting step I love the L'Oreal Elnet Heat Protect Styling Sprays. There are three versions of this, there's kind of volume, curls and straight but I use the version straight because I find it actually defrizzes as well which is quite handy. You kind of spritz this on wet hair it doesn't leave your hair feeling crispy or crunchy or anything, in fact it's like totally weightless, you can hardly even tell you've used it, but it just protects the hair up to 230 degrees. I can kind of hear there's like not that much in there, it's like the bottle's feeling quite light which just shows how much I love this, I definitely need to go and repurchase another one soon. You can kind of skip the other steps but this step, if you're using heat on your hair, is like completely essential. The next step is to detangle and for that I love the Ojon Rare Blend Protecting Treatment. It's 
It's labeled as a preheat styler, but I kind of prefer using it as a detangler. It's one of those kind of two-phase products and you shake it up and spritz it onto your hair. Sometimes, I don't know where these knots come from, comes to the end of the day and I have like a rat's nest at the back of my head. Does anyone else get that? It's like just kind of formed and it's like this huge poof and it's just impossible to get rid of, but this has definitely helped try and combat that. The last step is to hydrate and for that I love the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. A little bit of this stuff goes a seriously long way. I think I've had this for about six months and I'm not even like a quarter of the way through it. I like to use this on wet and dry hair and on wet hair I'll kind of take half a pump of this, use it from my mid length to ends and it kind of just helps make everything appear less straw like when I blow dry it. And then on dry hair I'll kind of take a bit in the palm of my hands, spread it throughout the palm of my hands and then take it over the outside of my hair kind of smoothing down any frizz and take it throughout the mid lengths and ends just to add a bit of gloss and shine. The last thing I have is the Arib Royal Blowout Heat Styling Spray and I don't know how this does it but this just speeds up the amount of time it takes to blow dry my hair which I really need by the way like in case you haven't noticed I have like a mop on my head. This just speeds up the time I'm spent like with the hair dryer an insane amount. Like I can't thank this enough. Anything that helps speed up the amount of time I have to spend blow drying my hair is a massive plus. I think I was away last weekend and I was blow drying my hair and I didn't pack this with me and I was like standing there being like this is a disaster. I really need that spray. This is supposed to do like 101 other things like add gloss and shine and repair split ends but for me the main thing this does is speed up my blow dry time and I am extremely grateful. So that's my hair care routine. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you fancy seeing the rest of my hair week videos and let me know if there's anything you fancy seeing and I will see you for part two of the series. Bye!